Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing fine. Today I'm doing just a, a, a quick project share and I'm going to announce the winner of my giveaway. The deadline was the 30th of September and the rules were you had to comment below what you would do with the spare frame that I would send you and you also had to do a VR or a post on Instagram, either on your feed and your stories. And although some of you did comment, only one person actually followed all of the rules and posted also on her Instagram. So I think it's only fair that she is the winner. And so the winner of the uh, Halloween frame, this one that I made, and then another frame but without anything so she can decorate it, is Ali at Ali at Paper Cut Goods. Uh, so you're the winner, yay! <laughs> and I will send you your things shortly. I will DM you on Instagram so you know you you won if you don't see this video. And then I thought I was just share this little box that I made. I mean, I didn't make the box, obviously. This is the package for the Marigold Road stickers. These are really cute and I really like to reuse packaging and I thought this was so pretty already with the animals in here. So what I did was I took it apart. I mean, I didn't really have to take it apart because the moment I opened the box, it just <laughs> fell apart. It opened it up. So I just, uh, as it was opened up, I stitched another piece of uh, acetate on the cover. I did it on the inside because I thought it would look better. And then I put some sequins in and then I decorated with some stickers from the sticker book and this cute beard. It's the one in the rolls. I just uh, stick it to some paper so it will be more sturdy and then I just fussy cut it and put it in here and I think it's really cool. It's a good way to reuse your packaging and you can put anything you want in here and it just looks super cute. And then I thought I would show you how the bull stand uh, that I did my tutorial for for ended up how I decorated it. Um, full disclosure, I did make the roof again because the one that I did on the tutorial was a little bit wonky. I'm not sure why. I think I glued it wrong or something like that. So I just took it apart and I glued it again and this time it's perfect. I think it's not wonka this time. And I just thought I'd show you how it ended up. In here I used some field notes from Rosie Studio, this little snail, he's very cute. And then some papers from the Go the Scenic Route, some lace that Faithy gifted me with in some ruffles, some uh, die cuts here. I really like this die cut, I use it a lot for layering. And then I just did a little paper ruffle in here and these are the hearts that you saw me do. And then in here I just use a rosette that one of my pen pals sent me. And this one is also from Field Notes by Rosie Studio. And I think it looks super cute. And I just thought I would share it with you how it ended up. And that's it. I hope everyone has a great day. And today's Friday, so a great weekend as well. And bye!